Hey guys, so on my Facebook I had a message saying that our hospital was actually low on uh, face masks and they were actually asking if there was any volunteers for uh, sewing some. So they actually gathered out uh, some, so some kits that actually had like everything that we needed to make uh, for about 15 masks. So I figured, um, since I have some extra fabrics that I personally have, I figured I could show you guys how to make some masks yourself. All right, so for this project, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a ruler. And for this ruler, we wanna make sure that it has at least 16 inches, cause that's the sizes that we will need. We will obviously need some thread. And uh, obviously you're also gonna need some fabric. <laughs> Can't do a mask without that. And then there's a few other things that you're gonna need. So obviously a sewing machine, if you wanna save time to have a mask to take maybe 20 minutes instead of an hour <laughs> by hand. <laughs> So I, uh, this is actually the cheapest I could find and it still works as well as any other one. So <laughs> yeah, uh, other than that, uh, you will obviously need some wires if you wanna do the nose pinching. So you can either have a thick wire um, or even a garbage uh, bag twist tie. So for me, I'll be using the uh, brass one because it's thicker and I'm hoping that's gonna stop the whole fogging glasses thing. <laughs> Now another thing that you will be needing is some elastic bands. So for the ears we do measure about uh, 7 inches. Now this one is a little bit thick so we want to cut it in half. So you see where that little uh, middle bit that's less shiny? So you're going to kind of want to cut in between that just so we can have the uh, two pieces. So basically once that is cut we want to make sure that you're cutting right in the middle because what happens is if you're missing uh, the middle bit you might have a lot of fraying which kind of happened to me, but that's okay Because <laughs> I can always replace the elastics pretty easily um, after that. So once you get your um, Elastics pretty much cut you're gonna want to stretch them just to see if there's any fraying bits So as you can see these little wires there you just want to you just want to remove them and get them out of the way because Boy do they ever get in the way when you're sewing <laughs> So it could take a couple of tries because, yeah, I, <laughs> I'll be honest, I did a bad job on, on cutting it. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous um, cutting that on uh, camera for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> so once that is done, you are pretty much ready to start, but you will be needing some needles. If you don't have needles, you also have um, these little uh, sewing <laughs> clamps, I guess. Um, I really really like these especially if you have some materials that tend to um, get holes very easily these ones will just kind of clamp the fabric together but today I, ha I am having a thicker fabric um, so that means I'll be sticking to my needles once you have your fabric in the correct measurements of 16 inches wide and then you're gonna want to have your uh, length <laughs> topwards Sorry, I'm not very good at uh, the terminology. <laughs> so 16 inches wide and then eight and a half inches tall. <laughs> so the, to make a perfect rectangle. So once that is done, you're gonna wanna flip it over and then you're gonna fold it in half. Once the fabric is folded in half, you're just kind of want to pinch these two areas that I am showing here. Basically, we want to have an opening for once we sew the sides. Uh, we're going to need that little opening so we can flip the fabric inside out. Okay, so once again, just make sure that you just sew the sides where I'm showing here. Alright, so once these little bits are sewn here, you're going to want to bring your fabric and kind of put the sewn edge right in the middle. So what we're going to be doing now is to make sure that we have a clean edge. So basically what you're going to do is just put the flaps down and then you're just going to sew all along the line, okay? So once that's done, look at that, it's all nice and clean. So then we're just going to get ready for our elastics. So to get ready with the elastics, I'm using once again my little needles here. So 
So you want to want flip your fabric sideways, okay, the way that I have it here. So basically for the elastics, you're going to want to have them in the corner, um, but you want to make sure that you don't accidentally sew your elastics. So we're going to put a needle right here. So that's basically what that's going to be doing is it's going to stop your elastic from going into the way of your sewing machine. So we're going to make sure that we don't sew the elastic bands by accident. <laughs> so once again, we're just going to pin on the other side now. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to have our little buffer place with our needle. Just make sure that you're placing it correctly. You don't want to have a wonky looking mask. <laughs> so now with the elastics, now you're going to be ready to put them in the corners. But before, I want to make sure that my edges are flat so I don't misplace my elastics. So I'm going to be doing that for both sides, okay? So I want to make sure that my mask is nice and flat. So once I have secured my mask and made sure that it was flat, I'm ready to put on my elastics. So once again, I'm just going to get another needle and then I'm going to put in the elastic into the little hole here. And I want to make sure that my elastic, the end bit, is going to be nice and flat at the top. So that's kind of why I pinched the top part so it's nice and flat so I know exactly where my corner is. So be careful with this part. I have stabbed myself quite a few times. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So once you are done, just make sure that you get the elastic around the secured pin and then just pin it onto the other side, okay? So now by pinning the other side, we are ready to go on to the other side. As you can tell, it's secured. The elastics is not going to be in the way of our sewing. So now we're just going to repeat the same step, but for the other side. All right, so now we are done. So we just need to sew the edges. So make sure that you have enough space that it won't be too close to the edge because it might fray. So once that's done, we are now ready to just kind of tidy up what we got here. So basically just cut in the little end bits because basically when you fold it inside out, having corners will kind of bunch it and make it not very nice and clean. So I like to just cut the corner so it's going to be nice and crisp when we turn it over. So when turning it inside out, if you want, you can use a pencil to push out the corners. Uh, I didn't feel the need to because I could just kind of <laughs> tug on the elastics and it'll be nice and pretty much straight. Um, and then we'll be ready for the next step. So to make sure that my mask is lying nice and flat, I will be sewing the edges once again. Just to make sure that it'll be uh, perfect for the next step. So once that is done, now we are pretty much ready to put in our metal wires, if you want, uh, to have the little nose pinchy. So you'll notice I have these little curved edges with the wire. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't stab through my material. So by having that little curved edge, it'll be protected. So now that it's at the corner, you just want to make sure that it's going to be sewn in place so it's not going to move anywhere. All right, so once you have sewn in the metal piece to your mask, you are ready for the next step, which is gonna be the trickiest, honestly. <laughs> so for this one, you will have to make three evenly spaced half inch pleats. Uh, so once you got that done, you just need to pin in place and then sew to secure. So there's a few methods in order to sew them in perfect uh, sizes, but honestly, I just eyeball it because I feel like that's faster. <laughs> so it's up to you if you want to have a perfectly uh, sized pleats or just eyeball it. Either way, it's going to fit on your face. The pleats are just to make it easier to, I guess, to get that curve from your face. So it's up to you uh, which way you'd like to do it. 
I know for myself I do like to put a lot of pins just to make sure that my pleats do not budge. Um, so do as you need to just to make sure that they stay in place before you sew them. So once that is done and everything has been pinned to place, whether you are using the little ballpoint needles or your little clamps, uh, you are ready for the next step, which is the last step. <laughs> and that's going to be to sew your edges. Once that's done, your mask is now complete. And best part is with this mask, with the little inside, you can actually put a filter. So some people put coffee filters uh, as extra protection. So that's it. And I hope you enjoy your new mask. <laughs> I know I definitely do. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later.